Hello, welcome to another video of Code Snippet. So this is going to be the continuation of last video where we are looking into spring events. So in the last video, we have understood what exactly is pub sub design pattern and we have implemented the design pattern by using application publisher and event listeners by using Spring Boot. It was a pretty simple implementation and in this video, we are going to dig down into how exactly it works. We will actually go ahead and see the architecture and internal implementation of your Spring events. Well, let's get started without wasting any time. This is going to be a fun video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. All right, so let's quickly jump into the agenda of this particular video. So basically the similar agenda that we have seen in the last video. So we are looking into Spring events publisher and listeners we have seen pub sub design pattern and we have seen event publishers and event listeners as well so we have implemented a simple spring boot project in the last video so if you haven't seen that video i will recommend you go ahead and check it out this is basically the continuation of that particular video and in this video we are going to look into the architecture and internal working of your spring events we will see how exactly it is working internally now, if you remember in the last video, we have seen this particular publisher subscriber model. So you will have a publisher which will publish an event and it will have a multiple subscribers. After that, we have seen this particular example where we have order service. It will fire this order created event and we will have multiple subscribers or listeners who will consume this particular event. And if you remember, we have seen this particular code. We had a simple implementation over here where we have this order controller which which is basically a simple order controller. We have this order service, which is doing its simple task and it is publishing an event. This is basically order created event that we have created a simple Pojo class and we are making use of application event publisher in order to publish the event. And once the event is published, we had a couple of event listeners. So we had this event listener annotation by using which we are catching that particular event. So same event basically and we are printing it. And if I run this particular application and send this simple API over here, then you saw that we are getting these three logs. First, we had order created. And after that, we are getting two listeners. Basically, first one is your email listener, this particular email listener, this particular log. And after that, this particular log order listener, right? So both of them are being invoked by using this particular publisher, right? So this is basically the example that we have seen in the last video. Now in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to look into this architecture and internal working of it, right? So let's get started. Now let me go back to canvas over here and let me scroll down. So This is basically how it works. So let's dig into it, right? So here we have publisher, right? Publisher means our, let's say order service class. So in this case, publisher is basically our order service class. Now what publisher is doing, publisher is firing an event by using application event publisher what it will do it will just make use of application publisher and it will say fire event right as we have seen over here where is our publisher order service right we just injected this application event publisher provided by spring and we just said publisher dot publish event and here we just sent this particular object which is our event type now once this particular event is received by this particular event publisher what this event publisher will do it will delegate the event to application event multicaster. So there is a class inside spring saying application event multicaster. So this guy is major guy over here. This guy is main guy over here who is doing all the things for us. Right? Now this multicaster has a main job to do. This multicaster first have to find all the listeners inside your Spring Boot application, entire listeners inside your Spring Boot applications. And after that, once that guy finds it, it will send the event to each particular listener. It will just go ahead and invoke that particular listener. But now the thing is how this guy would know which are the listeners available inside my spring application, right? How this guy would know which are the listeners available in this particular application? Well, the answer is by using this event listener annotation. So when your spring boot application is coming up at startup time, your spring will scan all the beans and it will look for all the methods which are annotated with event listener annotation. And for each listener, it will create a application listener. It is kind of a wrapper object. And all these particular application listeners will be stored inside a cache, internal listener cache of your multicast. So all those event listeners will be stored inside internal listener cache. And this cache belongs to basically your multicaster. And how they will store it? It will store it in a key value pair where your key will be your event type and the value will be your actual listener. 
So let's say our event type over here is basically our order created event, right? So it will just say order created event and we have this particular listener over here, right? Listener one, listener two, all the events, right? And what will happen now once this particular publisher publishes the event, application event publisher will delegate the event to application event multicaster. Now what this guy will do, this guy will fetch the event type from this particular event. And what is the event type? We are sending it, right? So here we are sending this event type, which is order created event. And it will query this particular cache and find out whatever listeners are available for this particular event. Now for all these listeners, what it will do, it will fetch all the listeners first. And for all these listeners, what this guy will do, it will just go ahead and invoke them. It will first invoke this guy. After that, it will just invoke the other guy. And no matter how many listeners you have, all the listeners will be invoked by this particular multicaster. Very, very simple stuff. So again, to reiterate, when your application is coming up, when you are deploying your application at startup time, Spring will scan for all the beans which contains event listener annotation methods. It will create an application listener for all the event listeners. And all these listeners, it will give to multicaster that dude, save it to your cache. This guy will save it inside its cache in this particular format. Now, whenever a publisher fires an event, your application event publisher will send the event to multicaster. Now, the multicaster will find the event type and by using that event type, it will query this cache and find out what all listeners are available. Once the listeners are found, it will just invoke all the listeners and send that event to all the listeners. Very, very simple stuff, right? Nothing complicated over here. Now what we will do, let's run our application in debug mode and let's see what happens. So there we go, our application is started in debug mode. What I will do first, I will just add a debug point over here. I will go inside publish event and there are a few implementations. I will go to abstract, abstract application context over here. Here you will have a publish event method. Inside this method, you will have something called as a application event multicaster, right? So this is the guy we are talking about and what this guy is doing this guy is just saying multicast event and here we will go inside implementation and add a debug point over here as well and i will add a couple of more debug points over here and now what i will do i will just unmute this and let's try to hit again i'll send the request so now if you see we are in our order service now what i will do i'll just proceed so now if you see we are inside our abstract application context publish event inside application event publisher have two implementations and your abstract application context is an implementation of your publish event right so after that it will just call this particular publish event method and now in this particular publish event it will just delegate the request to this application event multicaster it will just say application event multicaster dot multicast event and it will just wrap that event in application event object and it will also send the event type. In this case, the event type is what? Event type is our order created event, right? Now let's proceed. Now we are in simple application event multicaster. This guy is basically the multicaster that I was talking about. Now here, if you see, here we have a method called as get application listeners, right? And if I go inside this listener, then you will see it is trying to create a listener cache key and by using this key it is going to get the details from the cache so there is something called as retriever cache and by and from this retriever cache it will just get the respective listener right all the listener details and it will just return it so at the end you will see it is just returning all the listeners now if i come back over here then you will have this particular listeners over here so let's proceed so what i will do just to show you i will just copy this and let's try to evaluate this guy so i will go to evaluate expression and let's say evaluate just increase the size a bit there we go and here if you see over here in this particular object we are getting a couple of entries right so first entry if i click on view then you will see what it is it is a event listener it's a email notification listener and we have a handle order created and send email, right? So first listener and the other guy is basically log order details listener, right? So we have two listeners over here. So what this guy will do now, it will just run a loop and for each entry, it will just invoke that particular listener, right? Invoke listener and that's it. Now what I will do, I'll go over here and I'll just add debug points over here as well. And let's say proceed. So now if you see first it entered inside this particular email notification listener 
and now if i proceed again now it came back inside while loop and it will try to find the other listener so this time what is the listener this time we have log order detail listener so what i will do i will just send it again and it will land inside log order detail listener right and it will just print it after that after that it will just be completed and your call is completed you got the response at your console right that is basically how it is working right so we have seen this application publisher multicaster we have seen this cache and we have seen this annotation and we have also seen how your spring boot is making use of these annotations so that is how you simply your application event publisher and event listeners are working inside your spring application pretty simple stuff and that is how you can implement pub sub model inside your spring boot application very easy stuff right now this is pretty simple stuff that we have seen and if you see over here everything is happening synchronously right so it is a single thread publisher is sending this event this send this event is sent to this guy this guy is in loop calling all these events so it's a synchronous flow everything is happening synchronously we can also make this asynchronous how we can do that simply by using a async annotation very very simple stuff so that is basically the simple architecture pretty simple stuff so now if i go back over here then we have seen this particular architecture and internal working we also had a debug session in this particular video these two points we have already seen in the last video so that is how you can simply work with spring events publishers and listeners inside spring so we have seen pub sub design we have seen event publishers and we have seen event listener annotation we have also seen the architecture and internal working of it we also had a debug session so that is basically it for this particular video if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to code snippet share this video with your friends so that they are also aware of spring events that's it for this video see you in the next video